As you may know, I've reported on corruption at Rooster Teeth since 2019, talking about the terrible things going on there. I've got like 50 segments, 50 different videos reporting on that stuff. And over the last 24 hours, numerous ex-employees have come out with statements talking about how awful the working conditions at that company are. Some of the employees or contractors actually still working and or associated with Rooster Teeth too. For example, Ruby YouTuber Flint would say, Barbara removed her association. Aaron came out as being threatened to be replaced if she didn't accept what RT offered to pay her. Yeah, Ruby is dead. If you don't know, Barb is the VA for Yang and Aaron is the VA for Blake. It's kind of funny seeing the Ruby community saying that Ruby is dead or dying because they went out of their way to harass anyone who would say anything like that previously, even if they said it for very good reason. And so as you can see compiled here somewhat, we have numerous statements from ex-employees and once again, some, some people that may still be working there on some level, just a bunch of people associated or previously associated with Rooster Teeth blasting the company. And here's the thing. As I said in the beginning of this video, I've reported on this stuff since 2019. This isn't necessarily new information. Like, don't get me wrong, it's new stories, but the fact, I'm, the, the fact of the matter and what I'm getting at is these sort of stories have been coming out for years. I reported on ex-employee after ex-employee for years, leaving the company and warning us, telling us about the bad things that happened. And what did the RT and Ruby community do when I would report on things or other people would report on things? Many of those people, the very people watching this video, for example, a lot of fans would talk about this stuff and what would they do to us? They would ban us off the Reddit for talking about this stuff. They would lie about us. For example, Neethum, voice for Ren, brother of Monty, rest in peace. And quick side note, some people like to lie and say, I've like disparaged Monty or Neeth. Both things are false. I've only had good things to say about Monty for the most part. The only criticism I've ever had for Monty is that I think the man worked himself to the bone because I'd see interviews. I studied Monty a lot. And I'd see interviews where he was very, very tired. And you could just tell, you could hear it in his voice. You could see it. The man's work ethic was off the charts that negatively impacted his health though, I believe. Um, now Neath, I was, I was told that I disparaged Neath as well. That's a lie. He came out with a thread smearing me, bootlicking rooster teeth and saying that I lied about my coverage when I didn't. I was just reporting on the facts, literally. Someone would leave the company, make a statement talking about their terrible experience at the company, like we see going on right now. And I would show the statement. I would talk about the ex-employee, talk about how to support the ex-employee if you want, where to find them on social media, et cetera, et cetera. Read the statement and, and say, yeah, I'm not surprised. You know, this is now the 12th time I've seen this information come out about rooster teeth. But then you got people like Neath who want to be a corpo bootlicker and try to smear and lie and silence people like myself who was simply reporting on the corruption at this company. But yeah, anyways, Neath, great look. And all the RT white knights and stuff, great look to all you guys who are so progressive, right? Defending this, this company that has credible accusations of racism, of homophobia, transphobia, underpaying animators, like forcing crunch upon people, uh, having famous people at the company that were involved with abusive situations, having a vice president at the company that was involved in a domestic abuse situation with the terrible things he did to his wife. I mean, I could go down the list. Like I said, I literally have a list of this stuff. I'm not trying to recap this all though. My main point is, while I'm very glad that so many people are finally supporting the employees that are coming out with statements about this company, instead of ignoring them and uh, trying to censor the people like myself who reported on all that stuff. While I'm glad that that's having a change now, I'm not entirely convinced that some of these Rooster Teeth white knights might just not move on to the next corporation to white knight for if they don't like Rooster Teeth now. I mean, it's, it's difficult to trust people like that when they went out of their way to like ruin your life when you were just like, yo, this company is doing bad stuff. And they're like, no, it's not. You're the bad person. You're a liar and you're homophobic. It's like, whoa, what? wait, what? Why are you saying all that stuff? Bro? Why are you lying about me like that? I just wanted to talk about this employee that left the company and you know had all the stuff to say about it but okay uh, once again i, I got to point out that it's really funny that they're the ones that claim to be against like corruption and companies and be all progressive and all that but they're like literally the opposite in reality and that's the key thing the issue isn't them being progressive the issue is them claiming that they're progressive and in reality being the complete opposite it's the hypocrisy it's the lies it's the corruption but yeah i don't have too much else to say because as i've already said multiple times in this video I've talked about this stuff for years. None of this stuff is surprising me. This is stuff, I mean, I've, I've known that this company is a highly corrupt, terrible company for years. And to be quite frank, a lot of you watching this video probably have too, because you've been informed. And it's not like we, we, we have an ego about it. No, we literally would just read what people were saying. This wasn't like some rocket science thing. No, people would talk about their experiences. We would listen, we would read it, we would talk about it. And I guess that was just too much for a lot of these Redditors that just wanted to, uh, bootlick this corporation for years and years and years, despite the mountains of evidence that has already been out about this company up until this point. And if I sound a bit upset in this segment, 
I do apologize. I don't like sounding like that, so I will apologize for that. It's just difficult when I see all these people suffering from this corporation. You know, I don't like seeing that, first of all. And then knowing how many people have suffered in the past and those victims were ignored for years. You know, the ones I would talk about, for example, they would censor me and ignore those victims because, oh, my corporation. Now they're suddenly okay with talking about how corrupt the corporation is, though. Like I said earlier in the video, I'm not fully convinced that all of those people are now suddenly going to excuse me, are not suddenly just going to move on to like the next corporation to bootleg for now they don't like RT. Maybe some of them actually change their minds and aren't going to be just corporate bootlickers. Probably a lot of them still will be though, just not for Rooster Teeth. Oh, speaking of Rooster Teeth, by the way, they issued a statement yesterday and it didn't go so well for them. They almost got ratioed, kind of. Wow, actually not that close. 2200 quote tweets versus almost 4,000 likes. Did I say that there wasn't going to be corporate bootlickers for Rooster Teeth anymore? Guess I was wrong about that. I will uh, retract that statement. They still got some loyalists left. People would respond with things like this, basically giving the real statement. I don't want to read through the whole statement, guys, but um, it's a lot of nothing. If you want to read it, you know where to find it, at Rooster Teeth. It's a lot of nothing, really. This might be the top response, this meme. It got 8,100 likes, so technically this response ratio them, I guess. LGBTQIA plus employees, rooster teeth, blasting them, and then saying, uh, we are disheartened to hear of anyone who has experienced pain resulting from prior experiences working at rooster teeth. <laughs> yeah, sure. I got my little response in there. I know, I know, maybe overused by now, but the classic Omni-Man one. Look, I never said I was the most creative person. Here's another good one. Our statement, just like walls of text. Whoa, this is worthless. Great response too. I've never seen an apology that feels more like it was generated by an algorithm than this one. Yeah, like I said, it was a bunch of nothing. I kind of prefer this uh, <laughs> this mockery though. <laughs> Looks like an AI generated that apology. That's pretty good. Hey, quick side note. At least we're getting some laughs near the end of the video, I guess. Is the opening sentence saying it took until 2020 to realize racial slurs aren't acceptable? <laughs> Yeah, very progressive company, by the way. You want to know what else is funny, guys? We're, uh, we're hopping over to our good buddy YouTube now. New video from Rooster Teeth from just a couple hours ago. Wonder what the comments look like. Thanks for posting this. I thought I unfollowed all the Rooster Teeth channels over the weekend. Suppose I missed this one. <laughs> I wonder if the animators working on this were also grossly underpaid and mistreated. Animators, blink twice if you can't afford to eat. At least now this actually might get decent views implying that their channel's like dead they need freaking hate views to come to, to revive it or something like that i miss the idea of what rooster teeth was supposed to be but reality is often disappointing how many employees who worked on these animations had their wages stolen too i came down to the comments to reminisce about this campaign as i had basically forgotten about it till i watched this not the collection of comments i expected to find Ooh, someone's a little out of the loop let's remind RT every time they post something, they need to do better for their current and ex-employees. Imagine still having faith in Rooster Teeth to do better. Are you kidding me? This is not the first time they issued a statement, by the way, the one we just showed a moment ago. Like, they've had two other incidents that I can think of immediately where they issued statements and were like, we're sorry, we're going to do better. And look what happened. It's just hollow words, man. It's just fake stuff. It's a corporation lying to your face, thinking you're stupid enough to support them. Oh, wait, some people are. A couple more comments. One saying the comment section is going to be fun. Another saying... I'm assuming this was a timed upload, which I think YouTube is able to do. Yeah, you can do that. That's a thing. But if not, and y'all are... Well, let me let me clarify. I'm not saying this was a timed upload. I don't know if it was or is or isn't, but you can do timed uploads is what I meant to say. Continuing, but if not, and y'all are just blatantly ignoring the issues at the core of this company, y'all are delusional to what your community is going through. Did you read their Twitter statement? That's basically what they're doing. <laughs> y'all are probably just going to let Michael and Gavin take the full brunt while again trying to claim ignorance. You can't be that ignorant to this much controversy anymore. There's no way they're ignorant to it. It's their company. They know what's going on in their company. Come on now. Kind of surprised y'all actually posted after everything, not gonna lie, but this probably isn't the move. Oh, here's the one with uh, almost 400 likes. Last time I was this early, RT was still a credible company. So the last time you commented on an RT video was what, like 2018 or, or, or I mean, you know what's really sad too? Um, I wasn't aware of the bad stuff at RT till 2019, but some of the accusations about stuff going on at RT uh, go back to like 2016 or so. So yeah. We'll end with this post, a Reddit post with over 1,500 likes titled, Remember to keep the same energy after Jeff cries about all of this in a video. Basically saying that Rooster Teeth uses Jeff to cry on camera to divert attention away from the credible accusations about the company and all this information that's being brought to the public. But yeah, in my personal opinion, I feel bad for the stuff, the bad stuff Jeff has had to deal with in his personal life, but I don't trust any of these executives. Finally, Rooster Teeth is still around. As you know, it hasn't been like <laughs> completely eliminated by their overlords at Warner yet. This is very, very bad timing for Rooster Teeth though. Uh, any timing for this information to come out is bad for them, right? Obviously they don't want this information coming out 
but it's particularly bad timing because Warner has recently had a round of layoffs, apparently. I haven't looked into that situation too, too much, but I've been told from other people that have been following that news and have been reporting on the Warner side of things more often and the Discovery side of things and all that, that, yeah, there's been some layoffs recently. So, yeah, terrible timing for Rooster Teeth. I suppose I'll leave it there. Again, as I said multiple times in this video, my heart goes out to the victims of this corruption, this, this company, and uh, to the victims who were silenced by the RT community as well, the White Knights. Not all of them, obviously, not all the RT communities like that, but there were so many that would silence the victims and White Knight for this corporation for years and years and years. So I feel for all y'all. Hopefully better things are on the horizon. Let me know what you all think in the comments. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you there.